Well, this is good. We've pulled up to the fuel stop. <laughs> There's no fuel available. All right, morning of day six. Um, we start at Roma. Um, yesterday we had some issues with what's locally known as black soil uh, because of some rain that we had. Uh, the conditions were too tough for us to continue and the, uh, the, the route was abandoned in the afternoon. Hopefully that won't impact us. Anyway, we've got uh, fuel and food at 203 kilometres and then we finish at Toowoomba at uh, 491. Uh, ready for uh, farewell dinner and lots of back slapping and high fiving. So uh, we'll see what happens. Hopefully, hopefully everybody will finish. All right, sixth and final day today. Today has the potential for disaster, and the reason I say that is, in my experience, the last day some blokes become a little bit complacent, start to switch off, relax a little. Get a little bit excited about the prospect of getting home and they can uh, lower their guard and uh, you can't afford to do that while you're riding these weapons off-road so hopefully everybody will get in this evening to enjoy the celebrations but i wouldn't be surprised if one or two don't this crowd has been pretty responsible so far behaved themselves rather well had a couple of mishaps a couple of minor injuries a couple of offs but that's okay that's to be expected with a group this size Nice day for it. Hopefully the temperatures will be a little bit lower than what they have been the last few days. Although yesterday was mild, 27 degrees I think at top that. So, yeah, it's a good day. Compared to some of the others we've had. High 30s, low 40s. When you're wearing a few layers for protection and the like, you can get a bit uncomfortable. The bloke in front is either getting fuel or he's missed the arrow. Well, this is good. We've pulled up to the fuel stop. <laughs> There's no fuel available. I'm just having a look. I've only got a range of 197 k's. I don't know where the next fuel is. Uh, why is it the bowser's has packed it in or there's just no fuel? No one leaves, please. We're just... mm, is that why they call this adventure riding? Well, I might as well park in the shade, I guess. Yeah, that's not Did you know you had a bird strike, Andrew? No, I didn't. Well, there it is there, well, mate. So I just, uh, Wes mentioned it just then. So. Oh dear, bird strike. I hope it wasn't on the uh, verge of extinction. You used to run behind me. already spoken. We're probably going to, we're just going to go up the road to Tara. Fuel up and then we can clip back and pick up the route just out of Tara. But if we can all have something to eat here, grab a drink, do what you want to do here. So it's fuel only in Tara so we can get going again. Well, we're going to go and do the obvious thing, which is go to the nearest town, Tara. And then from there, once everybody's refueled, we'll, uh, we'll pick up the original route. So yeah, we're all going to stay in a group. 
um, we've accounted for everybody. The sweep rider has uh, pulled in. And he's the last bloke in the group, so yeah, we'll go as a group to Tara refuel. We've probably lost about an hour, I think, by the time we rejoin the group. But that's all right. We've got heaps of daylight. Fueled as a group now, we're leaving as a group. Get back on track and then be given the word and then we can go at our own pace. Link up back at Toowoomba. Uh, while we've got this slight disruption, I just want to talk briefly about what happened yesterday. The fact that part of the route was abandoned. The lead riders and one other, that was three, were on R1200s or 1250s, these big bikes. And the front mudguard is very, very close to the tyre. And apparently the, the country out there, it's what they call black soil. And once it gets wet, it just turns to mud. And it doesn't take long for the tread to fill up. And once that happens, you lose all traction. And also, it, all, all that mud stacks up underneath the mud guard. And you'll be riding along, minding your own business. And suddenly, your front wheel will lock up and you'll crash. Uh, and that's usually because that mud has just created so much friction that it's here. Yeah, stopped the front wheel from turning. And sometimes the only way to... Sometimes the only way to, oh, we've taken a long turn. Sometimes the only way to fix that is by actually removing the front wheel and then removing the mudguard. And I believe that was part of the problem yesterday and on delays. Because uh, it won't clear itself. And if you let it dry, it just turns to rock. Well, we've hit the outskirts of uh, Toowoomba. We'll be at our destination in a few minutes, and that will effectively be end of safari for this one. Uh, the organisers have done a good job, they usually do. They obviously put a lot of work and effort into it. All the support staff also supported them well, so did a good job. Um, these sorts of things, these sorts of events are ideal for those guys who are either time poor or don't have the skills expertise to organise themselves. All the confidence, I guess, to go and organise themselves. You go on a fairly lengthy drive sometimes, it's easy just to pay a fee and get somebody to do all the hard work for you. Uh, me, however, I, you know, those that know me know that I, if I want to go somewhere, I'll, I'll go there. Whether it's uh, on my own in a small group, it doesn't take much for me to get motivated to get off the couch and go for a ride. Uh, have, uh, having said that, I do enjoy paying a fee and just showing up and just ride somebody else does all the hack work for you. From here uh, we'll check in for the day, get our name ticked off and there'll be a farewell dinner this evening. Lots of back slapping and high fiving, people telling each other how good they are or how good they were. Could be a couple of uh, awards given out and then in my case I've got to ride 5,000 kilometres back to Perth through uh, some fairly harsh terrain similar to what we've just been through so my journey in some regards has only just begun. Hello boys and girls. I rear bag that 
this is a new boat rad rear bag, luggage bag. This one goes to Andrew Pegler. Come on up, Andrew. Excellent, mate. We've got an off-road training voucher, or two off-road training vouchers. The first one, this is um, obviously so that you can help upskill you a little bit more, so you can come on some more adventures. We, we go on adventures. We, we, we ride bikes a lot. We cover some ground, see some things, but I don't think anyone in this room or us covers as much ground or sees as much as this guy does. So it's a set of Metzler Carew 3s, well needed. Steve Bly. <laughs> well deserved. You, you burn rubber and you do lots of it, so. I think I think this is great because I was telling him he should try Carew 3s the other day. So Steve, I want to hear I want to hear how these go. I want to hear how these Carew 3s go. I think you could all agree no one does it better than Matthew. Well, it's the morning after the night before. Most places are starting to suit up and head home wherever that is. In most cases, it's a two-hour ride uh, east towards Brisbane. In my case, I've got a 5,000-kilometre journey still ahead of me, uh, which will probably take me about seven days through similar country that we've already been through. Um, do you know what that means? If this is the final run, see you on the other side. <laughs>